Hello there guys, Bubu Crown here, back with another video and today we are going to do what if Deku was reborn, part 23, hope you enjoy it. So in last part, I did cover the fight between All Might and All For One, and All Might using up all his power to defeat him, and Deku teleport every everyone from Class One A and Aizawa and All Might to the other world, and they meet some type of princess, and Deku save her, and everybody know that Deku was an adventurer and pretty known one in this world. So let's begin our story from here. So after the girls got inside the carriage, Deku think quickly on his feet, then he talked telepathy to everyone. Then he told them, Guys, it's me, Deku, don't make a scene. This is the plan for not people to get suspicious of us. I was going to come back to the capital for a few months or so, then I will return home. You guys tell me that you want to come with me, for you to get a bit of experience. So I would understand the story? Everybody said yes. Then they continue walking toward the capital. And now inside the carriage, the princess tells the girls, I can't believe that I'm having Dragon as my escort. Then Ashdo tell her, so is he really that popular here? The princess tell her, yes. He's not only but his he's not known only but his power. He's also known but his kindness. And believe me what I said. He is an inspiring figure for most of our younger generation. So basically the new gener generation of adventurer. Then Ashido tell her, whoa, he never tell us about that. Then the princess tell her, yeah, he's pretty humble. So which one of you is his girlfriend or wife? And one woman hear that, she, her face turned red. Then Ashido tell her with a smile on her face, a devilish smile. This is her, his princess. The princess tell them, what? Princess? So you're your royalty? Momo tell her, no, no, he just a nickname that he come up with him, uh, with it. The princess tell her, hmm, if you say so. So now let's go outside of the carriage. Deku asks one of the guard, is it usual to see that monster can use magic? I was gone for quite a while. The guard tell him, yeah, a few years back, we discovered that some of monsters develop some type of magic, but we don't know how or when. Then Deku tell him, so you have it a bit hard, huh? Then the guard tell him, nah, it's okay, it's only like one of a hundred of the monster can use magic. So overall, it's a little bit uh, peaceful. Deku tell him, okay, but just watch your back. The guard tell him, why? Deku tell him, if, if I remember correctly, werewolf always move in large packs. It's pretty damn rare to see the smaller of them like small number of them then the guard tell him what do you assume of it Deku tell him it's just a hunch but I'm pretty sure someone wa was going to kill the princess using monsters and at that moment Deku can hear something in the trees he look around but he'd see nothing or no one the guard tell him what is it is someone there or something Deku tell him it's nothing maybe I'm overreacting the guard tell him if you say so so now let's say time skip everybody arrive at the capital and the moment Deku walk through the gate the gatekeeper recognize him then he tell him whoa aren't you Dragono? Deku tell him yes I am then the, guard, uh, then the gatekeeper tell him glad to have you back Deku tell him thank you and everyone can hear or did hear that guard say the name Dragono. so they are quickly surrounded by his fans so I mean Deku was quickly surrounded by his fans and Klaus only cannot imagine that Deku is this much popular in this world then Sato said damn I never know that Izuku is this much popular in this world huh then Baku tell him trust me Deku can easily become top 3 strongest pe pe person in this world Sato tell him really 
back grenade. Then coming after him, I think uh, you're low bowling deco a bit. Then back to him, yeah, maybe. Then they continue their walk toward the castle. When they arrive, the king burst from the door and start hugging to his daughter. Then he tell her, I just got the word that you got attacked by some monster that can use magic. Are you okay? The princess tell him, yeah, I'm okay. Glad. We just got lucky that Dragno show up and save us. The king tell her, Dragno, he's back? Then the king walk up to Deku and tell him, thank you for saving my daughter. Deku bow to him, anytime, sir. Then Deku signal to the rest of the group to bow down to the king. Then the king tell Deku, please raise your head. I don't want my, my daughter's savior to bow his head. Deku tell him, okay, then he raise his head. Then the king tell him, so, so who are they? Deku tell him, this is my friends from my homeland. Then everybody introduce themselves. Then the king tell them, thank you for saving my daughter. Please come inside. I have to give you proper reward. So after that, everybody walk up inside. Then they explain this, uh, the situation they are in, they lose all their identity card and basically they have nothing. The king tell them hey, it's okay, then hand over Deku a, like, a large amount of money. Deku at first was hesitant to take it but he remembered from long time ago that you can't refuse the offer of a king. So uh, accept uh, his money or the reward. Then the king tell them I bought your identity card, it's okay I can make you some. Deku tell, tell him thank you. I really appreciate it. Man, if I ask you something, the king tell him, sure, go ahead. Is it common for people to like to be, to be born with only using their special abilities? The king tell him, it's not common, but I did hear of it. Why? They could tell him, well, all my friends can only use their special abilities. I am the only one that can use magic. Then the king tell them, uh, then the king tell him, all of them? Deku tell him, yep, all of them. This is why I bring them with me, to get some experience using the special abilities. The king tell him, yeah, good thinking. With your skill, they will be safe. Deku tell him, that's the plan. One more thing. Can we speak in private? The king tell him, sure. So two of them enter an empty room. Then Deku tell him, I think someone was going to kill your daughter. The king tell him, do you have any proof? Deku tell him, no, I don't. But it's really, really, this is really odd to see a like small group of uh, werewolf alone, not with their pack. Plus, one of them was, was using magic. So he can't be an exile. The king tell him, yeah, that's what, this is really suspicious. Thank you for telling me. I will keep an eye out. Deku tell him, okay. And if you need my help, I'll always be here. The king tell him thank you, that's really assured me. Then two of them exit the room and walk to the group. Bago tell him, oh, hey, what's up boss? Deku tell him, nah, nothing. Bago tell him, if you say so. Then the, then the king tell one of the guards to escort this group to their uh, invasion guild. Deku thinks the king, then they leave the castle. When they exit, Deku tell the guards, please look out of my friends, I have something to do. Momo tell him, where are you going? Deku tell her, don't worry, there's something I have to bring back, so don't worry. Then Deku bow and tell her, see you in a moment, princess. Then he vanish. Momo's face turned red because she just remembered the first time they met. And the girl start looking at Momo with uh, a dead eye. Then Deku talk to the party to Bakugo and Kaminari tell them, I will be gone for like one minute, so you are in, in charge for protecting our friends, got it? Bo Both of them said, yes sir. Then they walked toward the adventurer guild. When they arrived, they do their people. Then one of the adventurers walk up to Oraka and tell him, hey baby, you're, you're new around here, huh? Oraka with nervous face tell him, yeah, I'm new here. The adventurer tell her, let me give you some private tips. And the moment he tried to touch Oraka, Baku grabbed his hand and twist into him, back off buddy, this is the last running you will get. The adventurer tell him, why you? Do you know who I am? I'm a gold lever adventurer. You're dead, kid. Dead. And the moment he charged at, toward Baku Go, Baku just Delaware smashed him toward the ceiling, doing quite a lot of damage. 
but Baku was holding back. So when they eventually fall to the ground and start to get up, he tell Baku, damn, just who are you? Baku tell him, well, you just you can just call me king of explosions. Then he start creating explosions in his hand. Then Kaminari walk up to Baku and tell him, so do you need help? Baku tell him, nah, I can handle this. Then the girl start try to calm down the fight basically, but he failed. The adventure was so enraged he start using his ability. Then he tell Baku, if I can't punch you, I can burn you. At that very moment, Kaminari power up and from all might used to using his power, he tried to use his buff form. But the moment he buff up, he transformed to his skinny form. Then he go to his knees because he's exhausted from using his uh, buff form without one for all. Then Deku walk up to him from the door and tell them, I leave for one minute and you start a fight. And everyone recognized Deku that he's Dragono. Then Baku tell him, uh, sorry boss, but he started it. Then eventually tell him, boss, you're with him? Deku tell him, yeah, they are my party member. So if you have one, if you have a problem with them, you have a problem with me. Then Deku can see Omat on his knees. He walk up to him, tell him, Omat, are you okay? Omat tell him, yeah, yeah, okay. I did try to use my power, but without it, uh, I'm exhausted now. Deku put his hand on his shoulder and tell him, don't push yourself, okay? And Deku is visibly pissed off. Then he looked at the adventurer and tell him, so, do you have a problem? The adventurer take a step back and tell him, no, no, it's not him. Then he walked outside the adventurer guild. And guys, why Deku leave? He just bring his armor. He can't just pop his armor in front of everyone. So he stood for a deserted place and put on his armor. Then everybody do their adventure ranking. And Deku, and Deku basically put Baku and Kaminari at gold level and everybody else in bronze level. So the weakest level. Then Kaminari tell Deku, so what is your level boss? Deku tell him, well, I'm platine. Platine level. Then Minato tell him, so why are we all in the weakest level. Deku tell him where well, you're just weak guys, you have to work hard. Plus you, you don't have experience. Then Kami tell him yep. Then Deku tell him so as you two Kaminari and Bakugo. Sure you have powers but you don't have any experience in a fight, uh, doing a fight sorry guys. Then Deku tell them okay first things first let's get you got some armor. And they walk up to the closest armor shop or blacksmith shop, oh, blacksmith shop sorry guys. I'm a bit rusty, so please forgive me and bear with me. Everybody got uh, their armors and Deku did get a bit of discount because he's Dragon. Then they go to the Nen, Nen? Hotel? What the f Let's go away, Hotel. And they got a room. Then Deku tell them, we are not going to stay here very long, so each room will share between two people. So pick your partner, guys. And Minato said Pervinet because he want to get a room with a girl. Then Deku tell him, Minata, you know what is the punishment for someone who peeped on a girl? Minata in the universe face tell him, what is it? Deku tell him, well, if you got lucky, they will just cut your head off, clean. And if they want you to suffer, they just burn you alive. So you better behave. Minata is literally scared and tell him, yes, I will, I will. Then let's see time skip everything got set in the rooms. Then Deku tell them I think it's good to for you guys to get with some small missions. So they go to adventure gate, then they take like one of the weakest mission there is and basically just kill some mo some monsters. So basically they just just to have to kill some slime monsters. They are not harmless, but they are just annoying. So everybody leave. And the way to the location where the slime monster is, are sorry guys. Deku tell Aizawa to set this one out. I try to not get in any fight. Aizawa tell him why. You know I'm pro here, right? Deku tell him yes, I know, but in this world, people can use magic, and I'm pretty sure that your eraser power cannot erase magic. And they have the lever system that you don't have, so they are pretty strong. 
So for your safety, don't get involved in any fight. Aizawa tell him, yeah, I understand. I feel pretty useless right now. Like, well, sir, but that teach. Your lives are in my hands. Or basically, your lives are on my shoulder. And when they arrive, so let's say time skip to their fighting the sludge villains. Oh, sorry, not sludge. The sludge monsters. At first, most of them cannot fight them. And Deku and Baku and Kaminai, they're not helping them. So everyone is struggling to fight the sludge monsters. Then Deku tells them, Yo guys, you know that everything has a weak point. Just find it. Kurishima tells weak point. Then he looks at sludge monster. Then he sees something inside of it. Then he said, that's it. Then he held in his hand, press to the monster and grab his core and crush it. And sludge monster just... Let's say melt or something like that. Then Deku said, Whoa, Kurishima is learning pretty fast, huh? Then they created the rest of the monsters. After that, everybody is exhausted, except for the, the rest of the not fighting. When I mean the rest, I mean Bakugo, Kaminari, Deku, Aizawa, and All Might. Then Deku opened up a portal toward the closest place they can hide from the site, and everybody got teleported there. After a few minutes, they arrived to uh, one of the city, and after taking a bath, they immediately form. They immediately go out to the rooms and they pass out from exhaustion. Then Aizawa tell Deku, "Do you think that that's a little bit hard on them?" Deku tell him, "Yeah, but they have to get stronger pretty quick. I don't want them to spend too much time here. At max, I want them to spend a year here, so they have to get stronger really quick." And guys, I think I'm gonna stop video right here. Hope you enjoyed. If you do, drop a like and tell me what to take of it in comment section. And if you're not around here, consider to subscribe and peace.